Hi, everybody. Hi, friends. Oh, it is so good to see all of my friends here. I miss you guys so much, and especially since I haven't seen you in a whole week. And I hope you had lots of exciting adventures this week. I know I did, and I missed you guys so much. So just a really quick reminder before we get started, all the instructions for today's activity can be found on our website, coalchildrensmuseum.org, under the Cole Kids Live page. There you'll find the instructions for today's activity, and I hope you guys are excited as I am. It's going to be so much fun. Hi, everybody. It's so good to see all of my friends here. So just as a reminder, my name is Andrea, if we haven't met already, and thank you guys for joining me today on Cole Kids Live. So my friend Vito told me that this week we are exploring Whole Foods. Oh, and I love that exhibit, and I know you guys love it too, and I miss it a lot. I miss filling up my shopping cart with all the pretend food and pushing my cart down the aisle, and then going to my friend who's the checker and then having them scan my groceries through. That was so much fun. But I know you guys had a lot of fun on Monday with Vito using our imaginations to play in the grocery store. That was a lot of fun too. So I thought today, we could make something that we usually buy at the grocery store. So today we're gonna make something. And we're gonna use things that you probably already have the majority of in your own home. And I am so excited. Are you guys ready to find out what we're gonna make? Yeah? Okay. Today we are going to make ice cream. Yes, I know, I'm excited too. I love ice cream too. So we should get started. Let's get started right now. So the first thing I need to do is check my recipe. I've got it right here and make sure that I have all of my ingredients. And it's okay if you don't have everything you need right now to make your ice cream. This video, once I'm done, will be posted here on the Facebook page and also on our website, coalchildrensmuseum.org under the Cole Kids Live page. And there you'll also find the instructions and the ingredients list for today's activity too. So then you can come back to the video and make ice cream with me later. So right now I'm just gonna show you how to do it. So the first thing it says we need is some half and half. So I've got that right here. If you don't have half and half, you can use cream or a whole milk, something, some dairy with a higher fat. That's what we wanna use for this recipe. And then it says we need some sugar. So I poured some sugar in this cup right here. So I've got my sugar ready. And then I need some measuring spoons for some measuring. And then it says I need some vanilla for some flavor. So I've got my vanilla extract right here. And then I need a gallon sized Ziploc bag. So a nice big Ziploc bag that can seal at the top and a smaller Ziploc bag that can seal at the top. That's very important. We want a big bag and a little bag that can fit inside the big bag. And they both need to be able to be sealed. That's gonna be really important when we make our ice cream today. So let's see what else we need. We also need, so since we're making ice cream and things are gonna get a little cold, we need some gloves to keep our hands safe because it's gonna get really cold. When we are mixing our ice cream, we're gonna be mixing for about five minutes. So we need a timer and I'm gonna set mine right now so it's all ready for five minutes. And then I need to make ice cream, we need to cool it down. So I need some ice. Mine's kind of all sticking together here. So I poured a little bit extra because I figured some of mine would melt while I'm talking to you guys right now, but you need about three cups of ice. And then this is our most important ingredient for making our ice cream today. We need ice cream salt. Or, or you can use rock salt or kosher salt. This is very, very important. This is our secret ingredient today and this is gonna make us our ice cream. So we need ice cream salt. And then, I mean, the secret ingredient's important, but probably the most important thing we're gonna need today, a spoon so we can eat our ice cream when we're done. That's very important too. Okay, so I think I have all of my ingredients and I think I'm ready to get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take my big gallon size Ziploc bag, I'm gonna open it up, and I am gonna pour in my ice. 
So three cups of ice. My ice is kind of all stuck in here. Let's see if I can get a few more cubes out of here. Kind of all stuck together. There we go. All right, so three cups of ice here. And then I need my secret ingredient. You guys remember what that was? My ice cream salt. I need my ice cream salt. I need a third of a cup of that. So I've got my measuring cup right here. And I'm gonna pour in my ice cream salt. And I'm gonna pour it so that it goes to that one third, oh, it's on this side. Uh, that one third line so I know that I have measured and I have one third of a cup of ice cream salt. I'm gonna pour that right in with the ice. So now I'm done with this bag for right now so I'm just gonna put it to the side right here. I don't need to shut it. I'm just gonna put it to the side right here. So that means I need my little bag now. And in this little bag we are gonna make our ice cream base. So our ice cream base is going to be our half and half. We need half a cup of half and half. So I already measured mine and it goes to that half line right there. And that's how I know I have a half a cup of half and half. Oops, my bag does not wanna stay open right now. Here we go. And this is the tricky part sometimes of pouring a liquid into a bag that doesn't wanna stay open. So just go nice and slow. All right, put that out of my way so I don't spill it. And then I need, let's see, one tablespoon of sugar. So the tablespoon is the big one right here. And I'm going to take a nice big scoop out of my cup here. Make sure it's all level at the top. That's how I know I have one tablespoon. And pour that into my half and half. All right. And then the last thing I need is my vanilla extract. So I only need a fourth of a teaspoon, so that's the little one of my vanilla extract. And since the little one's kind of tiny, sometimes I like to pour it over the bag. So if I spill a little bit, it spills in the bag. All right, let's see if I can measure that out. All right, one fourth of a teaspoon. Put my cups over there. Seal that up so I don't spill it. And that right there is my ice cream base. So uh, and the next thing I'm going to do, and this is very important, we're going to seal the bag. We want to get all the air out and make sure this bag is sealed up nice and tight so nothing gets out of it. All right, so now we're just going to kind of slosh it around a little bit, mix up that sugar, that half and half, and that vanilla. All right. So now, believe it or not, we're ready to make some ice cream. So this is probably the most fun part. We're gonna take our base bag right here and we're gonna put it inside of our bag with the salt and the ice. And then we're gonna seal it up. You wanna get air out of there and you wanna seal it up as tight as you can so nothing gets out. All right. So now we have to mix this together and we're going to do that by shaking it. We're going to use our hands. So that's where the gloves come in. So we've got our gloves. I've got my timer for five minutes. Uh, my bag is going to make a lot of noise while I'm shaking this up. So I didn't bring any music, but maybe you guys want to put some music on, have a dance party while we shake things up. So here we go. We're going to start our clock at five minutes and my timer's going. Got my gloves on, ready to mix. So I am going to mix, mix, mix this whole five minutes and not stop. And I want to try as much as possible to surround that half and half in the ice. I'm not always going to be able to do it, but I'm going to try my best. And you can try lots of different ways of mixing. Like right now I'm mixing right here, but what happens if I mix over here? Ooh. What about over here? All right, switch it up, get that ice around it. Mix up high. Oh, it was out of the screen I went so high. High, and down low. Mix it all around. I'm gonna try and get that ice 
all around my half and half my base. So now, as we're mixing, and we're not gonna stop, we're gonna keep on going, keep on mixing. You're probably asking yourself, why are we doing this? How is this making ice cream? So remember, we had that half and half, that liquid half and half. So when we freeze half and half, or we freeze milk, or we freeze cream, that's what ice cream is. It's just a frozen dairy product. So that's what we're doing. We are using our ice and our secret ingredient. What, what was our secret ingredient again? Do you guys remember? The ice cream salt, very good. Our secret ingredient, the ice cream salt. And that is turning that liquid half and half into a more solid ice cream. But how? Do you guys have any guesses? How do you think it's happening? You can look in your bag for clues, see if you see anything. It's the ice cream salt, very good. That's our secret ingredient for a reason. That's what's helping us turn that liquid half and half into a solid. So, half and half needs to get very, very cold to freeze. And ice alone, it can't do it. It's not cold enough. So we need to get something colder. Now we could try a freezer, but that's gonna take a long time. And it doesn't work as well because you can't get all of it. So by adding ice cream salt, by adding that rock salt, to our ice, it causes the water to, uh, it causes the water to freeze at a lower temperature. I wanna make sure I'm saying that right. So that means that inside your bag, you'll see your ice is melting. My ice is definitely melting a little bit. And that's a good thing, we wanted to do that because as it's melting, it's making the inside of the bag colder and it's getting colder faster, which is getting cold enough to freeze our half and half. So it's just lowering the temperature that that water freezes at, making it colder in here faster. So then you might be asking yourself, but why? Why shake it? Well, shaking it and moving that mixture around helps freeze the half and half and helps make it faster. Make it freeze faster, that's important. We want ice cream now. Plus the air, it makes a fluffier ice cream. And I know that sounds good. Ooh, are your arms tired? We're almost there, about 40 more seconds. So use all your muscles and shake it up. We're almost there, almost done. Keep making sure that ice is surrounding that half and half. I'm dripping a little bit, don't know why. Okay, about 20 more seconds. Use all your muscles. You're so strong, keep going. Keep mixing it around, keep trying new ways to mix it. This is a fun activity to do as a family because you can take turns mixing it. When you get tired, have somebody else try, because we need to mix it for that whole five minutes and not stop. Here we go. Three, two, one. We're done. Whew. Oh, are you guys tired? I'm exhausted. It's gonna be some good ice cream. Ooh, looks like I popped a little bit of a leak. That's okay. All right, so I'm gonna put my glove back on really quick because it's really cold in here when I take my bag out. So I'm gonna put this to the side. I do not need it right now. And now, let's see what I made. Let's see what I got here. So I'm gonna open up this little bag. Ooh. I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. Do you guys wanna see? Ta-da! I made some ice cream. So mine is a little bit runny still, a little bit liquidy. 
I might want to, and if yours looks like this, you might want to do the same. Put the bag, the little bag, back into the ice bag for about another minute and give it another shake. But I am still going to taste it, see what it tastes like. Mmm. Ooh, that tastes just like ice cream. Yeah, I think mine just needed another minute in the bag. Oh, there we go. So towards the bottom, you can see it got a lot more solid. So we turn that liquid into a more solid ice cream. And now we made our own delicious ice cream. That was so tasty. So now I want to see, how did your ice cream turn out? Oh, wow. Oh, that looks great. Does it taste good? Yeah, it's really yummy. Okay. Okay, I'm hearing some friends say that their ice cream came out perfectly and some other friends a little runny like mine and they maybe want to try again. And that's okay. That's the best part about science. We can keep trying and keep changing things up until we get it the way we want. So maybe you want to do the whole recipe again just as we did it and see if you can get a different result. Or maybe you just want to put your bag back in and mix it up a little bit more and see if you can get it more solid. Or maybe you want to change something in the recipe. Maybe you want to see what would happen if we put the ice in with not ice cream salt, but table salt. What would happen then? Or maybe we could take our ice cream base but add something to it, something more to it, like, like chocolate fudge. Would it freeze then? I don't know. That's the best part about science. We can keep trying. We can keep mixing things up and doing different things and seeing what works and what doesn't. And we can keep trying until we get the result we want. Oh, that looks like some very yummy ice cream, friends. And it looks like you're enjoying eating it. I'm so glad. Oh, I love seeing all these ice cream creations and I wanna see even more. Be sure to share pictures of your ice cream creations to our online gallery. You can find the link to that on our website, colechildrensmuseum.org, under the Cole Kids Live page. And there, in the Whole Foods section, you'll find even more activities to explore Whole Foods this week, including tomorrow's activity, where my friend Liz is going to teach us about the pH scale through painting with things we have in our kitchen, things we can buy at the grocery store. That sounds really cool. I can't wait to see that one. And then be sure to be back here on Facebook Live on Friday at 1030, where my friend Vito is going to be back to read us a story and tell us what exhibit we're going to be exploring next week. Oh, I can't wait. And I cannot wait to see you guys then. That looks like some really good ice cream. And I hope you guys enjoy it and are having so much fun. I'll see you guys next week. Bye, friends.